Hello guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how I set up my Renogy 12 volt battery monitor. So you can see it's mounted in the back of my car here. I'm going to quickly show you how I got this set up like so. So let's head to my accessory battery which is out the front of my car. Now it's a very simple setup from Renogy which is really great. We've got a couple of things we need to do. One, we need to mount, mount this shunt somewhere close to your accessory battery where you're going to monitor. And what we're going to do is, we're basically going to take all of our negative wires that were connected to this battery, and we're going to connect that to the P minus shunt here. You can see if I zoom in, it's all bolted underneath there. Now, we then take this B minus battery and connect that to the battery here. And all that is doing is basically adding this shunt into the circuit that we've been running. We then wire this little power line from your power side up into the shunt, not into the shunt, so this little positive section here, it's a little button kind of connection. You need to unscrew and put it in. And then we have this one wire here, which we need to run all the way back to our monitor. And this is six meters long, so you can run it anywhere. I've just run it through the firewall, which you might be able to see is down there. And then I've run that underneath my car, underneath the trim in here, all the way back up to here. And there you can see the Renogy battery monitor. Now, You've got to set up your amp hours of your battery and you've got to set up your low voltage cutoffs and that sort of stuff inside the settings. But let me just show you how this works. I'm going to turn on some of my lights. So we draw some power. Let's just put on my high beams. You can see they're on there. So that should be pulling some voltage now. There we go. You can see that my battery is draining and you can see that Renogy gives us some really good information. Over here, it's telling us how long the battery will last at this draw rate. It's telling us the percentage of the battery and you can even see that here as well. So it's really, really handy guys. You might also notice I've got a solar battery charger plugged in here as well. All I've got to do is plug in my battery to hit my solar panels to here and then that runs to my accessory battery at the front of the car again and will be monitored from here as well, which is really cool. So I hope that gave you a bit of an insight to how to install this Renogy battery monitor. It is really simple. This just pushes in. There's nothing special behind here. I've just got it cut out and um, it's super cheap and easy, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Keep well.